WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi folks, Basil Chapman on this Wednesday, the uh, 11th of May. We're looking at the Dow up 261 points at 32,420. The futures were up like this earlier on. And then 830, 8.2 for the CPI. Ah, yeah, yeah. Market went shroosh to the downside. But now it's coming back and attempting to turn yesterday's low into at least a low of a short-term duration. When markets are going down, there's nothing that says just because it looks oversold, it needs to bounce. But when you're looking at the technicals, and the technicals are suggesting that the push to the downside is now meeting resistance, or at least support is holding, um, this is where this is exactly where we are. So we'll see where we close the day. On the, on the day, if the Dow is up anywhere from 263, where it's now, up to 350 points higher, certainly at 3.20 p.m. if that's the case. And the volatility index, the VIX, this keeps changing, but I'll do it right now. If the volatility index at 31.34 is actually under 31, that'll say, hey, you've got a chance here to at least have a decent close for a change uh, without having an intraday reversal to the downside. The S&P has also come back really nicely. It's trading up 20 at 4,021. It was way up at 4.49. So this is it's got a lot to do to try to make up the day's action. We'll see if it starts to trade underneath uh, 4,000. That's going to be a real problem. We're looking at the uh, QQQ, and this is now down $1.30 at 2.9940. This is the one that's going to have the biggest trouble but could give the biggest gains when all of a sudden it can break into the 309, 310 area if it can do that. That's 10 points up from here. It's going to need a lot of work to do that. IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, not bad, up $1.44 gold. Had a nice rally early on. It's holding some of that rally. It's up 7 at 1848. It's really watching the dollar because the dollar pulled back a little bit from its uh, um, almost uh, all time high here. And now it's at 103.54, uh, down 37 ticks. It's a TLT we've got to watch as well, because this TLT is uh, now a little better than it was. It's down 8 cents at 115.63. It needs to go much higher for those yields to show some uh, uh, some weakness, and they can start to pull back. In the meantime, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pozzavento for Trade What You See. Larry's got his webinar coming up. It's coming Tuesday and next next week on Tuesday, all day webinar. Check it out, front page of TFNN. Great programming all day. You've got Think or Swim. You've got uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.